Howdy, partner. Andrew here. Today, I would like to teach you how to draw the line structure for 2-methylpropane. The first thing we're going to do is focus on the parent name. Now, the parent name in this compound is propane. Now, there's two parts to every parent. There's going to be a prefix, prop, and suffix, ane. Let's take a look at what they mean. So the prefix is here. I have a nice little column. So the prefix of prop represents three carbons. You have to memorize that. And now the suffix also, ane, represents an alkane. And basically all alkanes are just carbons with single bonds between them. And all these R's represent just some other part of the carbon structure. It could be other carbons or it could be uh, hydrogen. All right. So essentially when you have propane, you have a three carbon structure that has all carbons that are single bonded. All right. So let's now go to our drawing tool and let's take a look at how to do that. So what you're going to do is pick any particular dot and what that dot represents is it represents a carbon. And then we're going to play a game, connect the dots. All right. So let's start with this particular dot. That'll be carbon number one. Now, starting on carbon number one, go to carbon number two. Now, which one could that be? That could be any one if you move to the right or to the left or if you move down. It doesn't matter to me. So you're going to draw a line. I'm going to go over here. So right now I have two carbons. OK, and then if I go to the next dot and you could have went also up there as well if you wanted we now have three carbons so this is actually propane number them one two and three doesn't matter which way you number them you could have started number one over here but just you know don't be strange just start one on the left all right so now that we have our parent name uh, and written out propane the next thing to do is then to focus on the other part of the compound the two methyl now the methyl is a substituent how do I know that well because of the ending ol and meth represents one carbon. Here, take a look. Meth is one carbon, okay? And by the way, I'm going to leave you this tool, um, this kind of little table, and it linked it below. I'm also going to leave you a link for this drawing tool to help you out. Um, now, this number here represents location, always. And this represents the location on the parent. So what we do is we go to carbon number two, and then on carbon number two, you're going to add one carbon to it. So the only way to go, oops, I picked that up by accident. The only way to go is to go up. And this would be then that additional carbon there, right? So this now is showing a methyl group, a single carbon on carbon number two. And guess what? There it is. Peace, y'all. See you soon.